Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Parking Excuses with Be The Meter Maid. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a parking enforcement company. These stories will blow your mind. Okay, so make sure that you subscribe and follow me for more. Booted in my own spot. Violator Jonathan. I'm a resident at this property, Unit 10. I arrived in town a few hours ago. My property management was closed. I called your company and left a message informing you that I was in a new vehicle and had left the permit sticker in my old vehicle that I traded in, in Texas. Now, I have a boot on my car and cannot get to work. I need this taken off so I don't lose my job. I'm not paying for this to be removed when I notified your company of the situation. Jonathan, please provide the property you're located on and the license plate for the vehicle so that I can better assist you. Thank you for your submission. He gives the address. Uh, he says, it's a temp tag, black Audi, spot 10. I left your company a voicemail regarding the new car. Jonathan, in order to locate your vehicle, I will need the temp tag number. He ends up providing uh, the temp tag and they email him back. Jonathan, during a random patrol on 426, the Audi Q5 was observed and documented parked in violation of resident permit required and was subsequently immobilized per the pre-established rules of that property, which we are contracted to enforce on their private property. It is the responsibility of the owner, resident, or guest to know and comply with the pre-established parking rules of that property. It is the responsibility of the vehicle operator to observe all clearly posted signs informing them of the parking requirements. We are a professional parking enforcement company that observes the violation without bias. The only way that our patrol can identify that your vehicle is allowed to park there on property is by the permit being clearly displayed as required by the private property. The vehicle was not displaying a resident permit as required while parked in any space at that private property. The vehicle was immobilized correctly and in accordance with the parking rules of that property. Once we retrieve the boot and lock and assess it for any sticker vandalism or damage, the deposit refund will be processed within 7 to 14 business days, excluding weekends and holidays. Thank you for your submission. I notified your company the second I got into town about the situation. It's not my fault. No one is there to talk to as far as a human being goes. I attempted to contact my property management, which was closed when I went into town. I just purchased this vehicle yesterday. I need this boot off my car. I notified your company of the situation as soon as I got into town. I'm not paying to take this boot off. I left a voicemail and I feel like I was specifically targeted because of so. Yeah, I left your company a voicemail notifying you that I will be having a new permit tomorrow in my property management opened up. The old sticker is on my vehicle I traded in. I just got into town not four hours ago. Jonathan, it is your responsibility to know and comply with the parking rules of that private property. You have admitted that you know a permit is required. Patrol has no way to know a vehicle is permitted to be on property without a permit. The vehicle was booted correctly and in accordance with the private property rules. The boot will not be released without payment. To be on your way, scan the QR code, follow the instructions, and you'll be provided with the remote release code and instructions on where to return the boot. Get this off my car. Maybe if you check your voicemail or answer the phone, you would have realized that I really, he's go out to give you a heads up, but the phone's ignored for a reason. This is ridiculous. I've been in town maybe five hours. I notified your company as soon as I arrived. It won't let me pay on the website after scanning. Your app doesn't even work. I want this off my car now. I'm not going to lose my career because you people don't answer the phone nor check your voicemail. I have a recording of my voicemail left to your company alerting you of the temporary situation. This needs to come off now. Jonathan, I have located your phone records and you called the concerns line, which informs you to email in. No email was ever sent by you until after you were booted. The vehicle was booted correctly and in accordance with the parking rules of that property. The boot will not be released without payment. Follow the link for checkouts. Okay, 
I got this thing off and you have my money. I don't have a pole, however, on my property. I'm going to put it on the wooden pole next to my dumpster, next to my parking lot, and you can pick it up there because I see no pole on my property. Hope this suffices because there's not a pole that describes anything like the one after I made my payment. Your boot is locked on the pole nearest my dumpster in my parking lot because there's no pole with your company's name on it. Therefore, your instructions are incorrect. Wow. Like, can we just say he opened up a book of crazy? Wow. Okay. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed that crazy story. Uh, but remember, always park it right. Ha, 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 ha.